Welcome back to day number three of the European Table Tennis Championships here in Portugal. And day number three means quarterfinal day, that means matches for the medal. And the first match I'd like to comment on was the match between Poland and the team of Belarusia. And the very, very young team of Poland, to the surprise of everybody, was able to beat the team of Belarusia with a 3-0 clean sweep. First match, Patika beat the former European champion Viktoria Pavlovich 3-2-0. Then in the second match, Dzibowska against Privalova was also a 3-2 win. And after the 2-0 lead for the Polish team, Lician managed to win against Dubkova 3-1. That meant the 3-0 win of the Polish team and the semi-final for Poland. Germany against the Netherlands was another quarter-final match and the highly favorite for gold at this European Championship. Germany managed to beat the Netherlands 3-0. Shanshana was again the one to start this match and she had to struggle a lot with the defensive skills of Lijie before she managed to beat her in many long rallies. She had to be very, very patient, 3-2, and that meant the 1-0 lead for the team of Germany. And at the end, Irene Ivanchan managed to beat also Timina with 3-0 and that meant another clean sweep of the team of Germany. That meant the semi-final and that still means they are the biggest favorite for gold on this team event in Portugal. Let's get to the quarterfinals of the men's team. And we all know that the German team has to suffer from the withdrawal of Patrick Franziska due to an injury, but luckily Dimitri Ovtrov arrived right in time to help the German team. But again, it was Timo Boll, I called him already the rock, who started the match against France, the match against Leveson, who used to play a little bit more difficult, but this time no chance for Leveson. Timo Boll showed that he's in brilliant shape right now and Timo Boll managed to beat Leveson 3-1. The second match was Steffen Mengel against Adrian Martene. And Steffen Mengel before a little bit more than number four, number five in the team. At this moment, Jörg Roskopf, the coach of the German team, had so much confidence in Steffen Mengel that he put him in the second position. And Steffen Mengel paid back that confidence by beating Martene 3-0. And that meant the 2-0 lead for the German team against France before Dimitri Ovtrov against Stefan Wasch from France managed to finish this game by a 3-1 win and that meant another clean sweep for the German team and the semi-finals. In the quarterfinal match between Belarus and Croatia, it was as usual the question who was able to beat Vladimir Samsonov. And the answer was Andrei Gacina was able not only to beat Vladimir Samsonov in the first match, but he had also the honor to make sure that Croatia got to the semi final by beating Platanov at 2 2 in the fifth and decisive game by 3 1. That meant the semi final for Croatia. Great success. Congratulations. The host nation Portugal against Russia was the next quarterfinal and Marcos Freitas, the number one of the Portuguese team, managed to beat in his first match Livensov from Russia after a hard battle with 3-2-2. Russia's number one, Alexander Shibaev, followed up by beating Apollonia 3-1 and he was able therefore to level the match at 1-1. In the third game, the hero of yesterday night, Jao Montero, managed to beat Paikov 3-0. He really showed up a great confidence, I think, to my point of view. This win yesterday against Chen Wei Xing helped Montero to find the next gear. And at the end, also in the decisive moment, he was the more aggressive player and managed to beat Paikov 3-0. In the fourth match, Markus Freitas met Alexander Shibaev. Both players were playing really on the highest level. Markus Freitas may be the bit more passive player. Shibayev the more aggressive player who was playing the ball a bit more early, a little bit higher risk. And Shibayev 
seem to be on the winning streak, being up 6-2 in the fifth game before Marcos Freitas leveled at 8-8 and at the end by winning 11-9, bringing back this game for Portugal and that meant the semi-final for Portugal and I'm sure Portugal is hungry for more.